today we are going to discuss about sequence transformation uh, generally this transformation is widely used for uh, generating a sequence or running number to make a surrogate key to replace the natural key uh, uh, that is like a primary key of a dimension table for example customer table or order table that customer id would be the primary key when it comes to the data warehouse uh, environment uh, we will be uh, part of the slowly changing dimension side we are going to get the history information in particular like slowly changing dimension to setup we are going to maintain the history of the each uh, customer uh, changes okay in that case we are going to maintain the surrogate key that is like uh, to overcome the natural key okay that is the that is one uh, good example to discuss here okay so when you come to sequence uh, in uh, in particular to um, uh, uh, check with oracle database like uh, we can discuss like uh, the curve value and next value the the pseudo columns will be maintained when you create a sequence the same similar setup uh, 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 it is there in informatica with part of this transformation we are going to discuss in the coming practical session okay so your uh, today's session i'm going to bring this uh, uh, three strategy like bringing the emp table as a source one and uh, introducing the sequence for generation of the uh, uh, the curve value and next value in particular next value we are going to pass it for the output port okay for uh, the uh, target table in target table i'm going to use tmp underscore history because in the first scenario i'm going to show t underscore emp history like multiple session when we run it how it's uh, generating and maintaining the history that is what uh, we are going to talk about okay so let's jump into uh, sql developer now if you see here i already we have already a emp table uh, in our database oracle database this is the 14 records so now i created one target table already okay if you see here at the end i've created a key id this is nothing but the surrogate key uh, the emp number though it is a primary key that is the natural key uh, to maintain the history this surrogate key will be handy in in the situation as i explained before okay now oh, let us go back uh, let us go back to the transformation creation here okay i'm going to create a trans sorry mapping um the source so so we will be selecting the emp table here from the oracle source like i mentioned before emp okay this is done the, now the next step uh, will let it load just a second Yeah, this is loaded now. Okay, so now next thing is we'll introduce the sequence here, sequence transformation. So in the sequence transformation, um, go to all the way to advance and disable the incoming fields. The first most thing. Once it is done, then the next thing is as I as we discuss, uh, you see here uh, there will be uh, see the increment uh, by uh, one value and the starting value will be one and end value is this much. So uh, uh, up to this end, uh, it will generate and it will stop. Here, if you want to reset the value, you can reset it, but we are not going to do that. And um, if you want to maintain any cache, uh, uh, means. Uh, cash values you can mention and so those things we are not going to disturb anything uh, now coming back to generator field so you see here the next value and current value as i told this is the value you are going to consider for 
again now let's pass it this uh, from so now the target table will de define as we already defined a uh, history table we are going to put that table now for our selection purpose oh sorry not the csv we are going to create a oracle source so we already created a emp est so since uh, we are going to uh, run it multiple session i'm i am not disturbing this truncate target setup so i'm leave it but let's go to the incoming fields and uh, or create a new rule uh, and uh, if you don't want the uh, and delete this rule why because uh, unnecessary call I'm coming in input port we can for especially this current file we don't require we can uh, remove that and coming back to the target fields uh, we are good and mapping okay so now let's go to the mapping here so now all the columns have been mapped but the key id we are going to pass this next value which is coming from the sequence okay now almost we are ready we can arrange this okay so if you see this simple mapping all the columns from the source as it is coming but the the surrogate key information it's coming from the sequence that is the next value we are passing into the target table that is the history table okay now this is ready let us not uh, uh, mm. run it straight away because we are going to run it through the session level so let us create a session okay before uh, running as a mapping level okay before to that uh, what we can do is EMP so now oh, the mapping is ready let's create a, a session that is uh, what we can say is like a task okay so here let's name this session oh, sorry okay uh, EMP is underscore sequence and now let us try to select the running environment okay and select the mapping which we created now okay this is the one so now the mapping also associated so what we are doing when we are running the multiple uh, mapping uh, the history should be uh, maintained with the cache sequence okay that is the reason we are doing this then now you can see the curve value and initial value is same okay now oh, let's keep rest of the setting as it is we are going to run it manually i'm not going to schedule anything so finish it once it this is done now you can see uh, uh the session is has been created okay now simply you can run it and see the job how is it going So now 14 records have been loaded now let's go back to the sql developer side initially it was blank right now try to run it see now the uh, uh, the uh, surrogate key column side like the emp underscore key id which i have created 14 uh, say 1 to 14 it, uh, it has been generated uh, nicely now let us try to rerun it one more time so that the history is maintained uh, let's uh, reconfirm the same open the session again and okay okay open the session again run it once more and go back to the jobs and see this next iteration how it goes now we we should see that after 14 it should generate 15 to 28 okay the running sequence number the history will be maintained against it this is the good, simple example we are trying to understand today discussion okay so now 14s have been inserted again so now see after 14 15 16 17 28 it's generated okay this is uh, this is it okay
uh, and now now this is one example now in 